What's up? My name is Ben with Maker Decor and for today's video I'm going to show you how we made this triangle arch. Alright, let's get started. I want to go over this a little bit. It can be a little tricky to do this, but um, I'm going to try to slow it down and kind of show you how I did it. Uh, to me, this is definitely the best way and it kind of gives it a lot of strength. Uh, it also prevents the boards from kind of warping a little bit. If you just use one board, I use two boards and it locks in, holds it, holds it really well. But it can be a little tricky, so let me kind of give you a close-up look of kind of how I do it. What you're gonna want to do is line these up where this tip and this tip are kind of touching you see because we're gonna eventually cut that angle here so the tip and tip should be about touching so once it's set you're gonna mark here you're gonna cut this excess off I'll put an X on this one and then from under you're gonna draw from here too So when we flip it over, we see this. So this is the part I want to cut off. All right. Let me cut them real quick and I'll show you the next step. Right now this is what we got left. This was the excess from this to this. This I believe was this side. And this was this side. Just little two little dog ears are cut off. And so it sits together perfect. Now we got our angle. So the next step I'll show you is how we put the other next piece coming in. All right, I'm back. I cut the little dog ear off. So now my board should just slide right into place. All I'm gonna do is glue and tack just like I did the other one. Uh, you can flip it over if you want. I'm just gonna slide it under and mark it. Yeah, we'll do that. Makes it a lot easier. Just drawing this line here. This is the bottom board. Take that off. This will be cut. Now that's all four pieces. All I'm gonna do is glue and tack both of these together. And that's the triangle. The easiest way to get a good a level cut is I um, put it together, put it upside down, and I'm gonna go from one corner to the other corner, which is a long piece of board, cut a straight line, I'll show you, and that's where you do it. It's just the simplest way. This is the large one that I'm actually showing on this one. 
uh, my eight foot board didn't fit. But I just tacked on an extra little piece that I had and it'll make it fit. is huge. I'm gonna bring the other one I made just kind of in comparison. So I haven't built the legs yet for the big one but they're gonna be exactly the way I showed for the smaller one and then I don't know if I talked about it already but um I drilled holes in the leg on the front and the back they're for spikes uh, like um you know those little tents that you get you can get them at Walmart they sell like little spikes little metal spikes that you can hit in the ground to hold your tent still um, most of these times it's going to be on grass and um, I wanted a way to kind of so they wouldn't move uh, but I've actually left this wooden one it's been sitting outside in my backyard for maybe four days already no problem no move no nothing uh, it's solid which I like and had some wind and it's been good but you also want to be safe when you're somewhere so I put holes on the front and the back so you can just drill a um, hammer a spike into the grass last resort if you really want to be safe you can just put some sandbags but um I don't like that look. If you have flowers to cover it up, that'll work out great uh, for me. Uh, if I can just put the stakes in the ground, some good sized stakes into the ground, that's gonna hold it in really good. And it'll just look seamless. So with the large one, since it's so big, uh, I, you're gonna still do the same supports the way I did this one. But um, I'm also gonna add a two by four in the back, uh, just to kind of give it a little support for the wind. Uh, it should be fine, but it's always better to have the better support, especially for the height that it is. Tall one, it's just gonna be better to do that. And so how I'm gonna do it, and I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna do it, just because every angle is gonna be different, especially if, if you don't follow us exactly to the plans or it's a little off, uh, it might be a little different. So let me just show you a quick trick to how to make sure you get the angle right for you. By four, you're gonna use, place it towards the back. What you're gonna do, is you'll have this lifted up just a little bit. You can put like a, a two by four under this or a one by two. And then all you're gonna do is trace that straight line across this. And that'll give you a line to cut here. And then once you cut that, you're gonna place it on top here. And then you're gonna follow this. The same thing here where it meets up. You're gonna cut this, cut this extra off. And then when this meets this, this meets this. You're just gonna put some screws in from the front to the back and it'll hold it off perfect and you're only really doing it for the back just to kind of give it a little extra support Thanks for watching the video. Hope this really helps. Again, if you want these plans, they're going to be available on our Etsy store.